This is Red All Over Instant Reaction. Chef United 2, Barnsley 0. Uh, not many Reds fans here today because obviously Alan's had COVID. Josh and Alan, uh, Andy not here today. So it like as always. Let's see if we can get some sympathy likes on this one. Try and get 200. So I've got Mr. Chris Davis Smith, who is a blade. Uh, we used to work together back at Dern FM days when I brought him in. He's a bit smug. So, take that smile off your face. What do you think you're smiling for? <laughs> oh, hold on, man. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about performance. Let us know, as always, what you think in comments to performance. Um, Chris, I'll start with you. 2 0. What do you reckon? I think it is a touch unfair on Barnsley. First off, in particular, I thought you lads controlled the game. I thought your five in the middle of the park, especially Bassey and Keener, caused us a lot of problems. Should have been in front. Wolf with the header. Fodringham, he's proved again today why he's one of the best keepers in the league right now. Wolf again had a chance later on in the first half. Possibly should have put you guys in front, but we went in at nil-nil. Got chance to regroup and eventually managed to take the game away from Barnsley with that bit extra quality in the final third. You really control that second half. I think that with Reds we were just... Them chances, we were in them missed chances. Didn't think we were particularly bad in first half. Thought Anderson had a really good first half defensively. Kept Billy Billy quiet for a, for a decent portion of that. But then second half, I think quick free kick, weren't it? First goal. Phil, let's talk about the goals and just caught us that. Came out of nothing really. Yeah, quick free kick down the line and then a bit of quality into the box. And Sander, he had a poor game to be honest, really. But he came up, got on the score sheet. Had one ruled out at Blackpool in the week and he's chipping in for us now when it counts. So hopefully we can continue our playoff push. But probably at the time it was a bit harsh on Barnsley because I thought you started the second half well as well. But you didn't manage to get in front, which which you do need at this level, unfortunately. Yeah, and Chris, I, I don't know if there were, I don't know if it was offside. I, I don't know if they were complaining about something. Collins and the two centre house complaining about something. From where I was sat, I couldn't see anything. So I don't know what it was. Did you see anything from your seat? Well, it was... Sander and Gibbs White I think on the line and it looked like they were fighting to tap it in and the defenders were complaining from where we were we couldn't quite tell but it did look potentially like it could have been one to look back on definitely oh I'll have to see that one later but um, yeah I thought it was quite a close game I don't think it were a game where I don't think did we deserve to lose 2-0 I think you, the way you controlled that game, second half, you kept us kept us out of it, and once you got that second, I, I didn't think we were getting back in it, to be honest. Yeah, I think second half we showed our quality. We brought, we had a few names back off the bench today. McBurney, Fleck all came back into the squad because we've had kids for a while now, and we've got we have got a good squad. We can't complain, but we've had a lot of injuries. We've had something like ten fixtures, I think, in the last month due to the COVID cancellations and. Yeah, I think in the end we just about controlled the second half and like I say earlier on, we we, uh, we had that bit extra quality just to just yeah. to get in front and kill the game off really. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, subs, it's hard because I see Palmer and he got quite a bit of stick obviously coming on the other day and it was a wonderful goal when we drew against Fulham. I can't, I'm not sure if it was him who was involved in that, but I felt sorry for him because he came on and he did work. He tried, first couple of minutes, he was really trying. But again, I think it, you know, it was a goal conceded straight after the subs made. And again, it just goes back to that discussion of whether we've got, a, you know, enough players are ready when they come on to fight. Because it was, we made two subs, didn't we? And then straight away conceded. So, and then, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah, you, you've spoke about before potentially the lack of strength in depth and the players you brought on didn't quite manage to influence the game but at that time the momentum had shifted anyway so it would have perhaps been difficult but I think in the final third Barnsley looked like they have got some threats going forward I thought Morris in particular in the first half caused us a lot of problems with his physicality against young Kyron Gordon at the back and John Egan as well he caused him a lot of problems but it's all about putting the ball in the back of the net, isn't it? When you guys didn't quite manage to do it today. Yeah, I had a wry smile when Uruan did his usual flopped at floor. We were used to them back in there. <laughs> Tumble down Ted Uruan. We were watching there, Connor. Um, playoffs for you? Going to do it? Final question. It's, it's a good... Well, I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to get some players back after the international break. Um, I think potentially if we get some players back who are injured right now, we, we can maybe do it, but... I, I fancy Nottingham Forest myself personally. I'll put that on record. Best side I've seen at Bramall Lane this season. I just think they're they're destined this year for the Premier League. But I think we can potentially get in 
the playoffs. But yeah. Right, to it. finish before me and Chris go off and have a scrap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> got to give it, I, I get first punch because we won two now. Okay. Um, I think Barnsley got to pick his sense up straight away. International break, bit of a mental rest, but we've got to get straight back at it. It's that game against Reading that's going to be crucial. We can't give up. Come on, Reds, got to keep fighting. You Reds. <laughs>